The national interest. Pete Wishart. Thank yeah. you. Mr yeah. Speaker, and we also look forward to joining in the tributes to you next week. And if it's all right with the uh, right honourable gentleman, maybe the honourable and right honourable ladies might be able to get a, a yeah. few words ah, in too. Yeah, yeah. And can I thank the Leader of the House for announcing the business for next week? Of course it's much for, more notable for what's not included than actually what's written here. Because of course, Mr Speaker, there's no committee stage of the withdrawal agreement being as it is in some sort of Johnsonian purgatory. Um, <laughs> a week today we are supposed to be leaving the European Union. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, Mr Speaker, we're, we're debating, probably appropriately, children's services. Remember, it was no ifs, no buts that we were leaving next Thursday. But we're not. This date was do or die, die in a ditch. It was the very basis of the Prime Minister's Conservative leadership campaign. And of course we won't be leaving next Thursday, and it will all be somebody else's fault. But maybe it's just me, but I can't remember this ridiculous pledge being dependent on if only this pernicious Ramona Parliament lets us do it, if only these gnats were more reasonable. It was an unconditional pledge without caveat. Now, I know the Leader of the House likes his surrender rhetoric. We've heard a lot about that in the course of the past few weeks. Will he now say that this date is dead in a ditch. Yes. It will not be met. The white flag will be raised. Halloween will go back to being the preserve, the exclusive preserve of the ghouls and the spectres. This date is a dead parrot, Mr yeah, Speaker. Yeah, yeah. And can I just say ever so gently to my friends in the Labour Party, if you get round the table to draw up another programme motion with the Tories, if you have a timetable for a Tory Brexit, yeah. your current precarious opinion poll ratings will be as nothing yeah. as what yeah. is yeah. about to come. Yeah. And Mr Speaker, can we have a debate about the responsibilities of the devolved institutions? Yeah. Perhaps just to outline the Prime Minister exactly what they are. In referring to the withdrawal agreement yesterday, he said the Scottish Parliament has no role yeah, in approving yeah, yeah. this deal. The only thing is, Mr Speaker, it has. Yeah, and I know yeah. the Leader of the House knows that because he's been looking at the withdrawal agreement. On page 118 of the explanatory notes in Annex A, it contains countless instances where legislative consent uh, is required. Yeah, and for yeah. the first time, the first time ever, the Scottish and Welsh parliaments will refuse to give that consent to yeah. a bill. Yeah. Will the government care a whit? Probably not, because Probably. it never does. Yep. Yep. What was all that rhetoric about? Lead, don't leave the UK. Uh, yep. A partnership of equals. Uh, Isn't nah. it the case, Leader of the House, if we have to secure the rights of our Parliament, we will have to become an independent nation? Yeah.